Welcome to Leximation University. My name is Scott Prentice, and today I'll walk you through some of the popular map authoring features in DITA FMX 1.1. As you'd expect from any DITA authoring tool, DITA FMX makes it easy to create and manage DITA maps. I'll work with the map for the DITA FMX documentation. This is available in the DITA FMX help source zip file. We'll just extract this zip into the DITA FMX folder, then open the map in frame. In frame 9, it's typically best to work with maps in the document view rather than the resource manager, since this allows full access to the relationship tables and metadata, as well as allowing you to see the topic titles rather than just the file names. In the Options dialog, you can specify that the topic ref labels indicate the topic title, file name, or both. In Structured Frame, you can work with the element tags on or off in the editing window. I prefer to work with them off and use the elements in the Structure View window as my guide. From time to time, you'll see elements that start with FM dash. These elements are not part of the DITA specification and only exist while the file is open in FrameMaker. They are used to allow for proper rendering of labels and elements within FrameMaker and are stripped out when the file is saved to disk. This FM ref label element is used to provide a clickable label for topic ref and topic ref based elements in a map. Note that while editing maps or topics, you can press Alt F1 and the DITA reference will display the official reference information on that element. This is a great way to make sure you're using the elements as intended. DITA FMX provides an option to conditionalize the book meta and topic meta content on file open. If this option is enabled, conditional tagging is applied to these elements, which makes it easy to hide or show this content as needed. If you want this condition to be hidden by default, just change the hide show property of the DITA topic meta condition in the structure application template. Using the structure view window, you can easily drag and drop topic refs to rearrange the hierarchy of the topics in the map. If you're working with a book map, you can make use of the front matter and back matter book lists elements to add generated lists like a TOC and index. When you create a FrameMaker book from the map using the generate book from map command, these elements will add the FrameMaker generated lists to the book. Some of the attributes in a map will display as labels to make it easier to see what's been set. For example, if you make use of the collection type attribute, as we've done here, so that topic refs in this chapter appears as sequence, the label sequence is shown. The online help shows how a sequence of topic refs is rendered in HTML through the DITA Open Toolkit. Instead of a simple list of topics, they are numbered. These labels are also used in relationship tables. You'll notice that the left column heading shows topic and source only. If we change the linking attributes value to normal, that is reflected in the column heading. We can also set the collection type attribute, which adds its value to the column heading. And if the type attribute is changed, that will update as well. Topic refs, or topic ref based elements, can reference DITA topics as well as other maps. Just double click a topic ref label to open the topic. And the same to open a nested map or submap. It is often a good practice to set up your chapters as submaps. This makes it easier to keep things modular, as well as making it easier for multiple people to work on a project. Submaps can also contain relationship tables if needed. There are a few other commands that can be used with maps. If you want to use FrameMaker commands, such as spell check, 
that operate on files in a book, you need to create a book to hold all of the DITA files. If you're using Frame 9, this is easy. Just switch to the Resource Manager view. But if you're using Frame 8 or 7.2, you'll need to use the Build Workbook from Map command. The Reference Report command is very convenient for generating a list of all resolved and unresolved references. You can specify the type of reference or select them all. This creates a frame file that contains two tables, one for unresolved references and one for resolved references. Each table provides the reference type, element, and containing file name. It also lists the target file and the target element type. You can click on the source or target element file to open it as needed. Another command that's useful in a map is search in files. Let's say you want to locate a list item element that contains the word template. Enter the word template into the element text field, then li in the element tag field. You can also use attribute values to further filter the result. If you're searching for this content in the current map, select that as the search scope option. You can also search through files in a given folder and subfolders. Just double click the file in the search results to open it. If you want to create an archive of all files referenced by a map or topic file, use the create archive command. This command builds a list of all of the references in all files referenced by the root map, submaps, and topic files, then creates a zip archive. Dita FMX provides a simple archive utility, but you can specify the utility of your choice in the external application settings dialog. And that wraps up the overview of the Dita FMX map authoring features. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit lexamation.com for more videos and information.